you should be able to log your answer. So the uh, question is, what is your general opinion of online learning and virtual work? I feel like I'm spending more time on the logistics of teaching now than I ever have before relative to you know what I would normally do in terms of the content of the class. I am focusing more on the needs of my students in a time that is unique in our life history. One of the silver linings of the pandemic is that I think there's going to be a wonderful transformation in higher education. Just because things have been done the same way for decades or even longer, you know, we really had to look at, is this the best way that we can be doing it now? I don't think that the university has a safe environment for us at full capacity. Even with masks and even with vaccines, we know that people are still getting sick anyway. It is very unnerving to be in a situation that I know is physically unsafe and trying to teach at the same time. We are doing the exact thing that public health officials are telling us not to do. We're having large gatherings in close quarters in poorly ventilated indoor spaces. Um, so do you see all the information that it that it gives here? So it says right now the current file name is the ING underscore punch a whole bunch of numbers. So I want to change it. It has been so great to be back in my classroom. We're much closer together. We can't really social distance. And this class is a lot about teamwork and working together. Um, but it's been really fun and the students are really reacting um, so positively to being back in person. I still see my ex at the frame, right? My courses were known throughout the college as being some of the hardest ones to transfer to virtual. When you're talking about lab classes, hands-on classes, you know, it's different. No one's going to say, you know, otherwise. It was very disappointing. The most important thing, come in with your questions. But there can be some benefits. Um, we learned some things when we first went virtual that I, I'm still using in my classroom now, even though we're, we're back in person. But I think a lot of us need to figure out kind of on a case by case, a course by course, you know, student by student, faculty, you know, individual um, basis on what's the best mix to keep people safe, because there isn't just one answer for everybody. I think we're at the point in the pandemic where a lot of people are just over it. And if they've gotten vaccinated and they've been responsible up until this point, I think people should have the freedom to explore their own risks. And if people want to have in-person learning, if they want to have that experience, if they want to have other types of activities, I think they should be able to do that. At the same time, I think that anyone who wants to continue remote and virtual should also have that option. And I think that applies to most of the people who work on campus. Obviously, there are some people who need to be physically present in order to do their work. That applies to certain kinds of lab work. That applies to some of the staff. But for those of us who trade in knowledge and learning and education, the exchange of ideas, there's no reason, there's no logical reason, and there's no evidence-based reason why we cannot continue to do that virtually.